Teachings are that first of all you learn the medicine wheels, then you start to work with the wheels and then this wonderful point happens where things flip over and the wheels start working and spinning you. And the aim we're going for is to be become spinning wheels, becoming medicine wheels, turning, able to move round the circle of life experiencing all the different places there are to be and the different energies there are in the world around us because everything outside of us is a symbol and a mirror of what's inside. Emotions. We all have fear, anger, sadness, joy and stillness. They're all emotional gifts given to us and somebody who is healthy emotionally just flows. When we're emotionally unhealthy we get stuck in certain emotions and won't do others. To not do sadness, to not do grief is unhealthy. There's this very new age kind of enlightened way of being where I don't get upset about anything, I don't get angry about anything. Come down to earth, flow. Everybody gets angry. Everybody needs to learn to maintain their boundaries. So water teaches us how to have our energy in motion, emotion. Emotionality is where you get stuck, where you can't cry or you can't stop crying, where you can't laugh or you can't stop laughing. Are your emotions free? If not, don't listen to human beings, go swimming. Go paddling, go and visit the sea, go for a walk in the woods. And the energy of water or the energy of the plants will teach you how to free up your emotions. The earth teaches us how to be, how to be in our physical bodies. Look at the way the earth with gravity just holds us to her. You know, we can jump a bit, we can launch ourselves into space if we use a lot of energy, but there's this thing called gravity which very gently holds us on the earth. The earth teaches us how to hold our spirits in our physical bodies, how to stay grounded, how to be present. Most of us, because of our culture, don't know how to be present. We're humans doing, we're humans thinking, but humans being isn't an option. That we get mirrored very often as a choice. in the north. The air shows us how to use our minds. All meditation technique is about using breath so that you can empty your mind. This idea that we need to make our minds up and remember loads of stuff is complete nonsense. All the, all the information we could possibly need is out there in the morphogenetic field, the collective consciousness. If we're open, it comes towards us. 
is good if you keep open rather than deciding and then whatever you need will come towards you keep your mind like a parachute it works best open belief systems that are closed are called religions there is more war strife problems caused through people's belief systems than anything else on this planet so air teaches us to keep moving keep opening the element of fire it teaches us about spirit spirit is the, the life force energy the unique configuration of life force energy that is me that resides in this physical body and when I'm in touch with that I've got spirit I am spirit and I'm spirited I'm passionate about it, whatever it is. You are who you are. The great spirit, the great mystery, the creator, the creatress, God, the goddess, whatever word you want to give that energy, created you just the way you are. Because that energy wanted to express itself exactly that way in you. So do it. Let it happen. Surrender to it. Let your fire come out.